Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up two automations that when used in conjunction can help you keep your active campaign lists clean from inactive subscribers. And so that way you can automatically purge people that aren't engaging with your emails. And that way you stop spending money to have them on your list. And also you're no longer hurting your rates by, having, by sending emails to addresses that aren't engaging with your emails. So let's just get straight into it. We're in Active Campaign. We'll go to Automations, and we'll go to New Automation, and I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch and continue. And I'll actually share these automations below this video, so you could go ahead and import them directly into your own Active Campaign account, save you a little bit of time. But at least when you watch this video, you'll understand how the automations work and the uh, theory behind how they work. So this first one is going to be a wait automation. And we're gonna start it when somebody subscribes to a list. So every time somebody subscribes to our list, they start this automation. Uh, we can select the particular list if we have multiple lists or any list. I'm gonna do an any list. I'm gonna run it once, hit add start. And now since this is my wait automation, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a wait period. Now I'm gonna do it in 30 day intervals. Uh, but you could go ahead and do one big interval if you want to, or smaller intervals, whatever makes sense to you. So I'm gonna do three 30-day interval, intervals. So basically I'll have people on the list for 90 days, give them 90 days to engage with my content before I remove them. But again, you can increase or decrease that to whatever you need, but I'll do it in 30-day increments, 30 days. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wait for 30 days. And then I'm going to go ahead and wait for another 30 days. And let me name this automation before I forget. So inactive, and this is the wait automation. And I also want to go ahead and apply tags to people that hit the certain milestones. So I'll go to the contacts, add a tag, inactive, 30 days, save, and another tag inactive 60 days and then with these tags I can of course segment my audience and figure out who's been inactive for how long and I could of course delete them or do something with them if I want to add a tag inactive 90 days save and then after this period I could go ahead and I could unsubscribe them from my list if I want to. Or you can do whatever you want with them at this point in time. Maybe you manually handle people that have that inactive for 90 days tag or whatever you want to do. Uh, you can certainly configure it how you need. So where's my unsubscribe option? Unsubscribe, unsubscribe from all lists, save. And I'll go ahead and activate it. So this is my wait automation. Now I want to create a second automation that basically resets the waiting period if they engage with one of my emails. So new automation, start from scratch, continue. And this one will start if somebody opens or reads an email. When a contact opens or reads an email, any email, any list, runs multiple times, add start. And then I'll add a new trigger and clicks a link in an email, continue, any email, any list, any link, any link runs multiple times. So that this way, if they click a link in one email and then they click a link three emails from now, it'll still run the same automation. And we'll go ahead and close that real quick. And let me double check my notes. All right, so we'll call this one inactive and inactive reset so this is going to reset the wait automation that we have because if they engage we want them to start this thing over give them another 90 days to uh, engage with us again so contact reads an email contact clicks any link first thing we want to go ahead and do contacts or no conditions and workflow and we want to end other automation we want to end that inactive wait automation so we're going to stop this automation that they're going down. And then we want to go ahead and remove any tags they might have that tells us that they're inactive. So remove tag, 
inactive, inactive 30 days and remove tag inactive 60 days and remove tag inactive 90 days save and then I want to go ahead and do a wait period wait for a specified period of time I want to do five minutes and then I'm going to send them back into this wait automation so they'll start the waiting process over again so we'll go with wait for oh no I'm sorry so we'll go to start an automation and then we're going to the inactive wait automation and we'll activate it and that is it so let's go ahead and go over this one more time so if the contact subscribes to any list they're going to start this automation right here which they're going to go they're going to wait for 30 days and then they'll get a tag for inactive 30 days wait another 30 days add tag inactive 60 days wait 30 days add tag inactive 90 days and then after the 90 day period i'd go ahead and unsubscribe them from all lists now along the way here you could of course you know send an email like hey i noticed you haven't opened or engaged with us for 30 days uh click here to stay subscribed or we're going to delete you soon or something to that effect so you can definitely adapt this automation to suit your needs i'm not sending in the emails i'm just adding tags to people so i could sort them later on so that's entirely up to you and then of course if the individual reads any emails or clicks on any links in any of the emails it's going to trigger this automation right here which is going to end the inactive wait automation so end this one and then we're going to remove any tags they might have had so if they on day 75 they clicked an email or opened an email like well that that would reset them in the whole wait period so we want to remove that 30 days tag and the 60 days tag because they're kind of starting fresh because they did do something and then we'll just wait for five minutes just to give them time to get those tags removed and things of that nature and then we'll start them back into the inactive wait automation so then they'll start this thing over and so that's really it for this video i just wanted to show you how you can set up these two automations so they work together in order to automatically clean your list of inactive subscribers